Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's quick tip of the week is how to retouch your background efficiently. I find if you ever work with paper backgrounds, you know, either portrait photography or catalogs, um, they can get dirty quite easily and it causes a lot of pain in post-production to try and clean up all the shoe marks and so on. So I found a very, very efficient way to clean it up really, really quickly. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we have an image I shot um, recently for a catalog shoot that I was doing. It's just a very simple, straightforward shot. Um, as you see here, um, the background is quite dirty. It got quite dirty during the shoot because you know, like models were walking all over, all over it and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the background layer. So Control J, and now I'm going to select the entire background using the uh, Magic Wand tool, um, just to be kind of more quicker. So I'm just selecting all the white part. As you see, I'm on tolerance 29. The color is white, so it's easy enough. And then I'm going to grab my lasso tool and just go over any areas that I haven't selected. Um, I find this is the quickest way to go about it. Okay, and once I have everything selected, I am going to go to filter, noise and median blur. Okay, so now I have to select it. I clicked on median and I set up the radius to maybe 25 whenever you kind of see that the dirt starts disappearing and as you see there's a huge difference pretty much all the dirt is gone um, in pretty much seconds so it's like the best tip ever obviously it depends if you have different color backdrops or if the background has lots of sh shadows in it um, you know it might kind of vary but for a pure white background it's a perfect technique to get rid of all the dirt in literally seconds Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see any other quick tips. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.